I think we are moving on to that one. We just had to get our good rides off the stage. We're going to begin this morning with the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Robert Gray, Luke Paul, Alyssa Rod, Jillian St. Martin, Victoria Spencer, Jackson Van Dorn. For those who are less fortunate, you've organized the diabetes walk to find a cure. 
We run the Winter Olympics to recognize the different cultures in the world. We've read to second graders. We work too much for Walking Wednesdays to help our third graders stay fit. We publish a school newspaper throughout the year. You ran the school store. You entertained us with Susan Jr. You invited your parents in for author celebrations, poetry jams, timeline America celebrations. As musicians and singers, you performed in the winter and spring concerts, and again for us at Memorial Day. You shared your artwork during Fine Arts Week, and you truly made a difference here at Pembroke School. I can tell you, Mr. Lucia, we are sending a group of kind, caring, and talented students to the middle school. It has been my honor to work alongside them for the past three years. We are grateful to the parents who sit here today and family members because when we don't have to do this work alone, we count on you and it wouldn't be possible without your support. I also want to thank the special staff we have here, Ms. Olson, Ms. Bailey, Ms. Alexander, Ms. Chanka, Mrs. McCoy, Mrs. Shoot, Ms. Starrett, and Ms. Benningham. They have been dedicated to students to help them be successful throughout the year. I hope you will stay involved and find your passion and believe you can change the world. I am counting on you. Next, we're going to have a few words from the superintendent school, Mrs. Carol Jacobs. Good morning, class of 2017. For those of us in the audience, parents and grandparents, that's probably very hard to believe. Certainly, for me it is. I can remember looking forward to the year of 2000, not that long ago, and now here we are looking at the class of 2017. So, good morning, class. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here this morning to congratulate you personally on uh, moving on to the middle school. You have definitely worked hard and you are ready. You have a great deal to be proud of. And it's been my pleasure to be invited to a lot of the various uh, activities that Dr. Tanner just mentioned. Um, and as a superintendent, I can't tell you how proud I am of the work that you've done. Um, I think uh, we also should give a special thank you though today to your teachers and your families who have encouraged you and given you all that you needed to, in order to be, to, to be successful on, on today. So can we give them a round of applause? So, back in middle school, I know that you're going to have a great opportunity to learn many new things. You're going to meet many great new teachers and you're going to make many new friends. You will be challenged academically but from all that I'm told, you're ready. Um, and socially, sometimes things will be a little tricky for you, but again, if you remember to be the kind of person that I know you've been in Pembroke and you've learned to be as you've gone through your elementary years, you'll be able to navigate that very well. And if you always remember to do your best, I know that you're gonna be very successful. So how many of you remember doing hopes and dreams at some point during your Pembroke year? Well, so what I decided to do today, um, briefly, is to give you a few of my hopes and dreams for you as you go ready to get ready to go to the middle school. So I hope and dream that you will be happy and you will continue to love to learn. I hope and dream that you will treat others like you want to be treated and that you will feel safe and cared about. I have a hope and a dream that you will be confident about trying new things because that is how you will reach your goals. And finally, I have a hope and a dream that you will always try to make, as Dr. Tanner just said so well, the world a better place. This year, we all had great fun watching you in the performance of Susical. So I'm just going to stick with that theme as I conclude my comments for you, judging, taking some words from the incomparable Dr. Seuss that I think are really appropriate for this special day. And many of you are familiar with the book, All oh, the Places You Will Go. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the person who will decide where to go. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarter percent guaranteed. Kids, you'll move mountains. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations to each of you and your families on the success of your elementary school year, and I look forward to seeing you at the middle school next year. Congratulations.
Next, we're going to show you uh, the fifth grade slideshow.
Shaman Student Council. John Walsh, Nathan Willis, congratulations Ms. Alexander.
John Mikey, Shay O'Donnell, Olivia Raphael, Nicole Raven, to the council. Alyssa Rodden, City Council. Melissa Salerno. Kyle Torgerson. Kyle Tooney, City Council. Congratulations to all of you.
Alex Richards. Lauren Richards. Courtney Sapienza. Lauren Richards was student counsel and Courtney Sapienza was as well. Michael Saunders. Julie St. Martin, student council. Jada Van Dunn. Kendall Wyman, student council.
Cambridge Barnard. Zachary Segan. Megan Burgum. Nicholas Thomas Lee, Council. Joshua Krishna. Wilson Hall, City Council. Trevor Head, City Council. Eric Hepper. Mercedes Johansson. Duncan C. Moore, City Council. Christopher Lasavola. Megan McNeil, City Council. Annabella Mangano, Student Council. Kaylee Massey, Student Council. Shayla McFadden, Student Council. Haley Melvin, Student Council. Haley O'Keefe McDonald, City Council. Allison Pritchett, City Council. Casey Sanger. Casey Sisolak. Audrey St. Clair, Student Council. Sean Swan. Congratulations, Ms. Olsen. Thank 
Mandalay Student Council. Talia Montevich, Student Council. Samantha Newberry, Student Council. Michael Polignoni, Student Council.
staff, I want to thank you for this beautiful drug. I hope you had a chance before we move on to our reception to uh, take a chance to look at it. It's, it's beautiful, and I'm sure every day we we'll remember this class, very special class. And thank you to our parents that, and families that are leaving Pembroke for one last time. We'll miss you. Don't forget to come back and visit. We're always here. Um, to me, this is a, a kind of a hard day for me to say goodbye to the students, but next year we're going to group of second grade again. But I'm sure we'll be back to visit. We have a closing remarks for this issue uh, before we uh, go to the next These are great moments. I've been in second grade for a while. I miss fifth grade. These are great moments. These are the ones you remember. Um, I was supposed to just say this cake and it's amazing, but of course I thought about it and I had to spin in my remarks. Um, I just wanted to tell you a very quick story from my own life about myself and kids, why I got into this business. I came home late one night last week to find four tickets uh, on the front of the microwave tape um, and the sign on it said surprise. And it was my son and daughter that got me tickets for my birthday. And there's the NASCAR race up in New Hampshire in Loudoun on June 26th. So my children are now taking me places for my birthday, and I get to choose a special friend to take along. <laughs> and I thought, times have changed. Uh, daughter's now a junior at Wentworth, son's out of school and working at a real job. Full time. <laughs> With health insurance. <laughs> but it's not so long ago that my own kids we're sitting in these seats right out here. Um, in the opening pages of the book, Tuck at Alaska, it describes the first week of August as the car that hangs at the top of the Ferris wheel. And the metaphor, of course, is that the year has worked its way all the way out from winter, and in the first week of August, the shadows deep, and the night's cool, and it begins to move to the next phase. I would suggest to you that the entire fifth grade summer is that car in the Ferris wheel. This summer is especially important to you and your kids. Because as they sit there in front of us now, they think they're wasting childhood and they are standing on the top of that pile, ready to plunge headlong into the abyss of adolescence. <laughs> as our kids go through it for the first time, we as parents go through it for the second. Now, all children eventually evolve into these very interesting people that you can sit around with and discuss sports, politics, and life over a B and T. But the road always leads to, leads to adolescence, and that can be hard on everybody. And there's often the memories of this gentle or quiet time in the elementary grades that sustain me as a parent during the middle and high school years. So this summer is important. Stay up late with your kids, build a campfire, leave work early to go swimming with them, make s'mores, have squirt gun fights and board game marathons, read the books, make your voices sound like the characters, take lots of pictures, make your memories last. Speaking for all the staff here at Pembroke School, we'd like to thank you for leading us, for lending us your children for 180 days a year. Thank you for having confidence in us to do what's best to help your kids grow as thinkers, learners, and people. And thank you for sending your kids to us prepared with snacks, with the zillion color-coded items we ask for at the beginning of each year. Thank you for your notes of appreciation for the teacher supplies and for your willingness to work closely with us on difficult issues. And now, brace yourselves. We are returning your children to you. Do not send them here on Monday. <laughs> Seriously, though, we wish you all the best. Here's to a happy, healthy summer and much future success. After the ceremony, there will be refreshments in the gym. We invite everyone to stop by. Ms. Alexander's class, would you please lead the class of 2017 out?